anything, you consume anything like that, it means you're paying. And there's a component called tax. It is that tax that government uses to provide public infrastructure. So we need to guard it. It's infrastructure that comes to serve us. Let's not fold our hands and sit back and say government will come and replace. We are the ones losing. Yes, definitely, we are the ones losing out. So uh, we need to be part of the solution. So speaking about solutions, what mm -hmm. can be done to put a stop to this problem? Yeah, um, like any other bad practices in our, in our communities, I think we all have to stand very firm and um, uh, tell the people uh, that this is wrong. And it will actually earn you um, possibly years in prison or um, you, you might lose everything that you might have or might not even have. So um, it's important that um, we collectively uh, get involved and uh, play a role. You can play a role if you're a church leader by speaking to people. If you are um, an imam, by also speaking to your flock. And um, surely these people don't come from another planet. They live with us, they come and still they go sell into, um, again, the, the same markets. So even you who is buying, uh, we are asking you what you're buying. Is it labeled? Why are you just buying what has come to you without clear um, examination? It will also end, land you into trouble. So we all need to get um, involved by creating awareness and reminding people that um, it is not safe, especially for anybody, to access the electricity network. The law restricts this, that not anybody, not um, an ordinary person, uh, should just come and access it. You should be actually licensed. Uh, you should be the right person that is allowed to access the network. So we need to continue creating awareness. We need to report just like any uh, other thieves actually uh, happen or you know, somebody comes to steal something people need some people make alarms people report to authorities so we need to do that and uh, nobody is going to do it for us if we the community members are actually not taking it up and um, we should be more responsible because um, it, it it affects us it is the, the lines come to serve us in those communities they don't go to serve other people so once we lose out um, in, in terms of time of non-supply, then we are losing money, we are losing health, we are losing a lot of other uh, resources. So I appeal to members of the public, everybody has a role to play in telling people that public infrastructure exists to serve us, it is our money, and so we should actually guard it against any form of theft or, or vandalism. So we've, we've come up with... Um, a number of campaigns which we are running across um, across the board jointly uh, with other sector players uh, but also um, as I said there is now a security committee whose job is actually just to follow up and see um, who are these people that are actually causing uh, damage or even sabotage uh, to government programs so it's everybody's responsibility we don't have to sit back and say it's the police it's uh, Umeme or it's any other uh, people. These lines are everywhere uh, in our country. And uh, even if you decided to put a, a, police, a policeman or a policewoman at um, each of the polls, you will not finish them because there are so many. And um, it really points to our moral standing as, um, as, 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 as people. So we need to check ourselves as well and um, guard what has been given to us. And <clears throat> And just to um, help people uh, be even more inspired to um, take up this challenge and this mantle of protecting our infrastructure, uh, what is the impact of that this vandalism can have when it comes to the distribution of mm. electricity in this country? It is serious impact. Um, like, like I said, uh, people lose millions of, of, of shillings. Uh, because if power goes off and possibly you have to maybe kickstart your generator that is uh, the other I mean you have to incur the costs of fuel and uh, you know what we have been going through with, with fuel uh, as well all those um, all those are costs and these days most of the items most of the things most of the businesses are actually run online uh, just like our TV uh, so uh, people need power you need power um, almost in everything, in, in everything that people are touching. So, um, and not just power, but reliable power. 
So we've done our best to invest to ensure that there is reliability through uh, um, overhauling lines, you know, removing the old ones and putting, uh, building new lines, uh, putting high capacity um, equipment, installing transformers in so many places. We have a network of over 14,000 transformers across the, um, across the country. Um, and so um, all these actually have to be um, guarded. The impact is huge um, when power goes off as a result of, um, of vandalism. It is even worse if it is repeated, like uh, the ones we had in the later months of uh, 2022. So people lose business, um, people lose uh, um, a, a lot uh, to do with this, even life, because um, I told you of people, of some people that uh, that died when they were trying to, you know, cut down a, a pylon, and there are several others, you know, uh, besides um, actually uh, vandalism. Also, there are people who illegally hook themselves um, onto the network, and um, all those ones are huge risks in terms of um, safety. So, if um, you you illegally connect yourself onto the network uh, without the right skills and all that. Uh, we've lost people in so many areas and so um, some even do it um, and a neighbor possibly is, is crossing and they are not aware that somebody put a line or run a, a, a small wire there illegally. So you hear people have been electrocuted because of such illegal activities. So the impact is really big. I want to remind um, all Ugandans and all viewers uh, that electricity is dangerous, especially if not um, well handled and also if not authorized uh, for you to access it or to access the network. Let's desist from uh, such activities, such acts. They could take your life or even take the lives of others. You may even lose uh, a property. So, and we've made life a little bit easier now that if you want to have um, a connection, you can even apply online. You don't have to walk, you don't have to drive so many uh, kilometers to access us to get uh, that. And um, lately, uh, just I think uh, two weeks ago, even um, the minister announced, the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development announced that the costs of connections have actually gone down from <coughs> about 730,000 to 470 through what we are calling the hybrid connections. So there is no really, really value in um, anybody trying to connect themselves illegally um, when um, government is working hand in hand with the other partners to ensure that the costs can actually go down. So I encourage people to, to visit us, to check uh, for information on our sites and we'll be able to connect them so that we do away with the challenges of vandalism and illegal activities on the network. And talking about vandalism and illegal activities, the thing that strikes me the most um, especially for that story where four transmission lines were damaged very quickly, mm. it means that these people are experienced and they know what they are doing. So uh, could this be an inside job that these are people from Meme and other um, authorities when it comes to electricity who know what they are doing? Um, I mean, Ugandans, are, we, we have studied. Uh, there are so many institutions of learning. People have actually been trained. Um, in electrical, you know, uh, installation and management. So they have a bit of ideas. Uh, and the thing here is that um, vandalism or theft of public infrastructure is, um, is um, a crime. It's a crime under our laws. And so no matter who does it, no matter who does it, whether it's um, a staff of any of uh, the entities that are in uh, the electricity business, they will be dealt with as per the laws of the land. And so, um, as I have told you, that um, investigations um, across the board by the security team, uh, by the apparatus that is in place, will actually lead us, and they have led us to so many, uh, to so many people. Uh, so whether anybody works for um, any entity within the electricity sector or not, they will be uh, dealt with, and uh, already I know um, information that has been um, coming to us, that even people that have been charged um, in court and maybe some that are still being followed, they are leads and um, they've, taken, uh, they've taken advantage of this information as uh, security and they're informing us that um, they are following up um, on all these cases. So before you set out um, 
to go and get involved in uh, those illegal uh, activities and, and plans. Just know that uh, there are many eyes out there now that are watching and uh, we're also trying to improvise and see how best we can, we can protect, we can use technology to protect this, um, this infrastructure. But for those that are involved, uh, certainly the time is up. And uh, yeah, the time is up. Their time is up. Now, uh, talking about time being up, well, um, uh, remember he spoke about uh, the concession of Meme um, coming to an end come 2025. And so um, later on, uh, during issues at hand, we are going to talk about the achievements that Umeme has been able to register whilst uh, operating in Uganda. During the end of last year, it came to our attention that the concession uh, between Umeme and Uganda is going to come to an end come to 2025 and so right now we are, uh, we are going to look through the achievements that Umeme has had um, ever since their concession started and, and now and, and what challenges they have faced apart from vandalism but uh, I can say uh, Mr. Peter that I believe it has been a fruitful um, venture and a fruitful relationship between Uganda and Umeme. Can you take us through how fruitful it has been? Yeah, um Thank you uh, very much, and um, um, for those for those that may be um, privy to the times before uh, privatization of the sector happened, I remember as a young boy, I used to I used to ride a bicycle to go and uh, to go to a UEB office that time to pay electricity bills for my father's house, and so. Um, I remember those uh, times, sometimes even when power went off, uh, it would take a bit of time, uh, possibly like two weeks for them to, to, to come and restore service. But um, now as a consumer, I see what, what the difference is, that uh, within uh, the reach of my phone uh, and the comfort of wherever I am, I'm able to actually you know, uh, transact and order for what I want to do with my electricity. So um, that is... Um, a great, uh, a great addition uh, to our uh, infrastructure as, um, as 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 Ugandans, and um, over the years um, a lot has actually happened in uh, to this sector because, like I shared at the start, we we started with about two hundred and fifty thousand customers or Ugandans that could actually access electricity on the grid. That has grown to about 1.7 uh, million customers and even this is going to get bigger because uh, the targets as per the new scheme that uh, we, we are running with um, at the ministry announced with uh, the Uganda Development Bank we're going to add about 500 uh, 500,000 um, customers on, on the new on, on the grid that have been waiting uh, for connections and development happens where where there is power so you see uh, structures coming up, all these will need power. So we know that there's great opportunity um, for Ugandans to actually access power and uh, utilize it uh, to make a living um, in, in their lives. And so that is, that is good. Um, we also employ, um, we're we about uh, 3,200 Ugandans that are employed, that provide this service under uh, Umeme myself inclusive you know so i am happy that um, i'm a beneficiary um, um, of that but above all um, a lot has been uh, done and we will continue to be done because uh, we're talking about um, a 77 74 uh, power stations um, or what you would call uh, substations across the country uh, and uh, we've installed over 14,000 833 uh, transformers, meaning you have to give people quality and uh, reliable service. So uh, this, 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 this has been put in place and uh, work is ongoing. We still uh, do this. We do continuous assessments and evaluations of where there is need uh, for us to step up and uh, we go out there and, and do the step up as much as possible. And um, of course we work with other partners as you know. Uh, the Ministry of Energy, um, ERA, that is uh, the regulator of the sector, the, the Electricity Regulatory Authority of Uganda. So all, all this work is done in partnership with them, and we are only doing this on um, on behalf of uh, on behalf of um, of Uganda. And so we also source 
most of our material um, locally because you know that there is uh, what we call buy Uganda, build Uganda. We want to we want to ensure that we are actually supporting um, our local industry. So most of the things, the services that we, we, we use uh, to provide um, electricity or to distribute electricity, we are sourcing um, a number of them uh, locally from, from uh, local uh, uh, suppliers. And so our efficiency in terms of um, electricity efficiency has grown uh, from 50% uh, to about 85%. As of uh, as of now, and this is uh, this is um, this is this is good progress. So we continue also to promote uh, capital markets um, as a business because, as you know, uh, Umeme is actually one of the, the listed stocks on the Uganda Securities Exchange, and so it's it's an opportunity for people to to own uh, Ugandans to own. We actually um, owned um, by majority shareholders Ugandans. So we are a local entity, and um, a lot is uh, a lot is happening. We've also converted uh, almost all our customers to prepaid, meaning we don't want to come and uh, say we are reading your bills and all that. That is really in the past. So we want to have everybody uh, uh, plan for their power uh, so that they are not inconvenienced. Uh, so the journey continues. Um, this is. Uh, if, if our camera can zoom into this, we'll be happy to, uh, to share that. But um, it's, it's an interesting um, uh, service. There's a lot of work that actually has to be done, and, uh, and we continue to, to do that. So our people should not uh, uh, be worried. We have uh, 3,200 staff directly, but also we have uh, so many other people that we work with, uh, like the, the contractors, because we don't do all the work. At times you have uh, people who want to, um, who we, we, we contract or subcontract to build lines, uh, you know, to do maintenance. So we are we're carrying on and uh, we are looking forward that this year, uh, possibly we're going to do a lot more things uh, together with other partners to ensure that uh, we can continue to improve on reliability and uh, efficient services in terms of um, electricity. And we are also counting on uh, members of the public um, to ensure that they will actually work with us, especially in keeping these lines. Government announced the new schemes that are coming up where we want to connect more people. Electricity, generally, uh, of course, they, they, there are lots of inputs. And so uh, it costs money. It costs money for us to, have, uh, to deliver this service to, to people. And so, uh, but according to the announcement that was made by the minister uh, recently, government gave um, a subsidy and uh, slashed the connection fees to 470,000. And um, customers have a chance to actually go and um, they have a chance to, to go and apply. If you pay uh, 200,000 shillings, then um, the bank will cover you up with the 270 to add up to 470,000 as uh, the connection cost for a no pole service, meaning where you only require a service cable and a meter. So you will pay uh, 200,000 shillings um, and then uh, the UDB will, will cover you and then that money will be recovered over a period of eight years. So this is a real opportunity uh, for Ugandans to have power uh, please do not engage in um, illegal connections. We have simplified the processes. It doesn't take long um, after you have um, honored your obligations uh, and commitments and all the requirements. So just get your house wired. When the house is fully wired, you get what we call a wiring certificate. And the wiring certificate is um, issued uh, by people that are licensed by the Electricity Regulatory Authority. Um, to ensure that you are in compliance with all the, the standards uh, that uh, that we require of you to wire your house, and uh, once you have applied, we shall come carry out an inspection, and uh, once that inspection is done and it is it is passed, we will come and give you a connection between uh, five and ten. The, the, the mandatory the mandatory days actually uh, ten and fifteen for. A, no poll and poll service. So the process is no longer cumbersome. It's, um, it's not tedious. It doesn't take long. 
So we advise um, all members that are intending to uh, get electricity connections to apply. You can apply online, but in the event that you're not able to do to come to, to apply online, you can visit any of our service centers. We have service centers across the country, and there are teams there that are willing uh, and ready to, to serve you. So let's utilize this chance and uh, keep away from the risky one of uh, illegally hooking because you'll be breaking the law and also you'll be risking your life and the lives of, of others. Let's enjoy this service and uh, wherever there is need, we are at your service. Now I know there are a lot of conversations still being had about the concession and whatnot, but uh, the <clears throat> questions that many Ugandans have is whether their shareholders will be safe come 2025. Um, the regulations are in place um, for any listed entity, so that's why I actually told people that we are here. We, 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 our concession has not ended, and uh, we have a mandate to deliver. We have obligations to meet as, a, as an entity, so we are working normally, in fact more than normally, as we had done before. So we have uh, targets to, to, to make, we have um, everybody to cover, including uh, our shareholders, and, and their, guidelines, uh, their guidelines, so people shouldn't be worried. If you need a service from us, please just come uh, for us, we are there, and we'll, we'll serve you. And um, we, we, we work, I think this is what people should know, that we actually work on behalf of government of Uganda, and there are all these legal provisions that um, enabled us that First of all, the concession is, is 20 years, and if anything has to happen, these 20 years have to first come to an end. So for us, that is not um, anything that stops us from doing work. We're working, and if you need a service from us, um, if there are any commitments on our part or your part, we are going ahead to honor them, and uh, we, we are not reneging on any of our, of our obligations. Definitely, and uh, it has really been a fruitful relationship, and uh, we are looking forward to more service delivery from Umeme. Thank you so much, Mr. Peter, for joining us at Issues at Hand this morning, and uh, we continue to hope to hear from you and to get the very best in service delivery from Umeme. Thank you very much, and I want to thank all of you that have been with us this morning on Issues at Hand. Um, always looking forward to be uh, on Family TV, uh, Church of Uganda Family TV, because um, this is where um, I belong as well. So I am happy to, to be here. And please, if you have any uh, pending questions uh, regarding services, uh, do not fail to reach us on our service handles um, and toll free lines. Uh, you can reach us on um, WhatsApp, you can reach us through our website. You can even visit um, our service center, but we are we are live, like I said, most of the services have been automated and we are online. So you can find us on Twitter, you can find us on Facebook, you can um, even reach us directly or even call us on the toll-free lines, which is 0800-285-285 um, or 0800-385-385. Thank you so much for having us. May God bless you. Let's be better people in 2023. Remember that electricity is dangerous, so do not access the network if you know you're not authorized. Let's be um, each other's keeper and let's be uh, people who respect the laws and regulations of the land. Thank you and may God bless you. Thank you so much. Did I add more? Well, you've had it all there coming from the horse's mouth. Let us be respectful <coughs> of the infrastructure that God has provided for us and that infrastructure that we are paying for, that our taxes are paying for. And let us be mindful that um, we all have to enjoy the usage of electricity together. It's very important for our survival. Remember, think about the people in hospitals who need that electricity. I've heard of many scenarios of doctors using torches to uh, help uh, women uh, deliver their babies. So uh, in order for that to change, we need our electricity to be up and running sufficiently and effectively. Thank you for joining us on Issues at Hand this morning. We shall return tomorrow for now. It's time for a coffee break. Have a lovely day. God richly bless you.